Good morning. I wanted to make a series called Heal Your Gut, in which I attempted to explain simply uh, what this huge subject is all about. This first part is called The Importance of Your Gut Microbiome. Now, this is not a new kind of invention. Uh, there was a chap called Hippocrates a few thousand years ago who actually told the world that all illness started in the gut. We've just taken a few years to catch up. Now, what's it all about? Well, it's estimated that you have 90 trillion bacteria in your gut. Well, you only have 7 trillion cells, so they outnumber you 13 to 1. On top of that, it's estimated they have 75,000 genes. Well, you only have 25,000 genes, so they make three times more enzymes, proteins, messages than you do. They direct the traffic. Now, at any one time, 38% of the molecules, the small molecules in your bloodstream, actually come from them, not you. So they control your physical biochemistry and they control your mental biochemistry. What sort of molecules do they make? Well, let's explain the difference. You've got good bacteria, they're called commensal bacteria, and they make good things. And things that we can use and help us and then you've got bad bacteria, pathogens they're called, and they make bad things, they make toxins that actually poison us and don't help us at all. And so fortunately, the good bacteria in our gut usually far outweigh the bad guys. What sort of things do the good guys make? Well, they make your B vitamins. They don't release them from your food, they actually make your B vitamins. They make your vitamin K, they make substances like serotonin, which affects your brain. They make glutathione, which helps your cells be oxygenated. They make melatonin, which helps you sleep, and that's very calming and heals you. And they also make things like short-chain esters. Now, short-chain esters divide into several areas. One group of short-chain esters actually block the formation of bad cholesterol in your bloodstream. Pretty important. Another group actually are very, very anti-inflammatory, so they go everywhere in the body calming you down. One short-chain ester called sodium butyrate even destroys cancer cells. So you can start to see, just by the molecules they make, how important they are. Now, it would be very hard to argue with the fact that they control your life. And all the research that's come from America and Europe in the last few years is very clear. It says that they get ill first, and then you get ill, and you can't get better until they get better. And it really doesn't matter whether the illness is chronic inflammation or cancer or irritable bowel syndrome and Alzheimer's. It just doesn't matter which illness it is. You always see that the good guys have gone down and the bad guys have come out to play. And that's the importance of your gut bacteria.